Well, in our next story this week, we're going to take a look at another group of kids that were out taking advantage of the Lake Michigan fishery, and these kids were from the Hartford Middle School. They were with their teacher, Bruce Pennington, and believe it or not, this is actually part of their class. One of the reasons we decided to highlight schools around the state doing outdoor-related stuff with their kids was this man here, Bruce Pennington. A few years ago, Claudia Hitchcock did a story with Bruce and his kids, and we wanted to check in and see what he was up to these days. Bruce teaches an environmental ed class with everything from hunter safety to boater safety in hopes of getting kids involved in the outdoors. Today, instead of joining him on the range, we decided to tag along on their big trip of the year, fishing out of the South Haven area. The excited kids were arriving at about 3 o'clock in hopes of doing some late afternoon fishing. Bruce, along with the South Haven Steelheaders, who were our gracious hosts for the day, were all watching the weather closely. It had been bad all day, but seemed to be opening up and giving us a window to fish. As the kids headed to the boats, I asked Bruce how this class ever got started. Uh, it's an environmental science class that I teach at school in Hartford uh, Middle School uh, for eighth graders. It's, it's a one semester class and uh, it's, it's kind of an elective and they pretty much gave me the ability to choose what I wanted to teach and I asked them if I could do hunter safety and if we could do boater safety and uh, I've tried to do, last week we were out at the trap range and we shot uh, trap at one of the uh, Coloma Rod and Gun Clubs and uh, this week was a fishing trip and we've done orienteering and uh, anything outdoor related. We watch Michigan Outdoors uh, in class, taped every Friday. We tape it Thursday and watch it Friday and uh, kids in Hartford uh, really seem to enjoy it. The captains today were all members of the South Haven chapter of the Michigan Steelheaders, an MUCC affiliated club. Their president, Chuck Keebler, was on my boat and gave us the plan for the day. Okay. So what's the game plan here today, sir? Game plan? Uh, catch fish. Catch fish. Let the kids catch fish. Okay. Uh, worked out real well last year. Uh, every uh, everyone was, had a chance to catch fish last year. Hopefully we'll do just as well, if not better, this year. Uh, uh, we'll be in about 70 to 110 feet of water, give or take, okay. and uh, we'll be uh, running lures primarily uh, about 20 to 60 feet down. Okay. Uh, we'll have dipsy divers out, uh, one on each side. Uh, hopefully we'll just tie into some monsters. I hope so. hope so. <laughs> <laughs> the South Haven Port is a beautiful area if you have never seen it, and today with the storms passing us by, it seemed even better. As we hit the water, I asked Chuck how he got hooked up with the Hartford Middle School and Bruce Pennington. Uh, several years ago, we got involved with Bruce Pennington uh, at a Project Fish a class. Corn, and corn. the future of fishing and of wildlife and everything else is the kids. And that's critical that we get them started now, uh, the enjoyment of fishing. Uh, we want to try and get the kids involved. Uh, Bruce is kind enough to bring his class up every year and go fishing with us. So if you see that pole move, other than what it's doing right now, grab holler, okay? Holler. Joining our boat today was Tasha Myers, Julian Ariola, and Robert Jones. For many of these kids, this was their first trip fishing on a big lake. And for many of the captains helping us today, that is what it is all about. It, uh, it, it really does your heart good because I can think back to when my boy was 10 years old and I started him uh, fishing out in the big lake and the first fish that he got was a 26 pound king salmon. Uh, landed it all by himself so I think about that and then I see these kids out here today. Uh, some of them have never fished out in the big lake, some of them have never fished before. Hopefully by us showing them a little things and telling them what's going on and Hopefully they catch a fish and get some turned on and it turns us on also. It just makes you feel good. The boats in our area were hooking into some fish and now it was our turn. Tasha was fighting this fish for all she had. And as it reached the net, she got to experience something every angler knows. Sometimes they get away. He's in the net. We lost the fish. Oh. We lost the fish, Dickie. Oh, oh. My fault. You lost it? Nope. <laughs> what? 
I can tell you that no one on our boat oh, felt worse than Chuck when that fish jumped out of the net. He has to go overboard if he lost the fish, right? I'm gonna go get it. <laughs> nice job. Well, Tasha had fought that fish like a seasoned angler, and we all hoped that it would not be our only action of the day. And lucky enough, a few minutes later, we had number two on the line. I was amazed to hear that the steelheaders here, apart from their involvement today, have a scholarship program, helped in the local skate park for their kids, donate to hospice, and support two local ball clubs, just to name a few. And my question to Chuck was, why? We're kind of a, a giving group. Uh, the state and everybody gives to us the fish and helps us with the plant. Uh, we want to give something back because we just want to help the community. We enjoy what we do. Uh, and that's basically it. Is that your first Lake Michigan fish? Yeah, that was mine. Yeah. Nice job. Yeah. You reeled that in like a pro. Yeah, I wish it was a little bigger, though. <laughs> we always wish it was a little bit bigger. Sure. Nice little king. Yep, put it in the box. As we put our only fish so far into the box, we looked up to see another storm moving our way. So, it was time to pick up and head in. Overall, we did okay as a group, but for the kids and their teacher, they could not ask for more. They had six charter boats arranged for us today. Uh, they did all the work. They, you know, have asked for nothing in return in terms of compensation. They've, they've just been super. They're a great bunch of uh, people. The uh, captains have been really friendly and good fishermen too, so it's been nice. We had six boats out and caught six fish. By some standards, a slow day. But to see schools and local sportsmen's clubs all banding together to promote the love of the outdoors, well, slow or not, a better cause is hard to find. I want to say a special thanks to the Hartford Middle School and thanks to the Steelheaders for showing us what a good day on the water really means.